every patient deserves quality care. But now we are looking at a population that may have challenges or difficulties speaking up or not be able to know to whom to speak. So we do need an overseer and here come quality measures. One of the largest supporters of long-term care patients is Medicare. So let's take a look at what they measure. Medicare's quality measures come from the assessment of data that is supplied by these nursing home facilities as required by law. And the assessments that they do look at specific data to identify how patients are being cared, for how pa patients are being cared. And here are three examples of what they are looking for. For example, they will look for what percentage of patients received their flu shots. Now, that may seem like not a big deal, however, for nursing home patients, getting the flu, contracting the flu, can actually be a deadly disease. It's not, oh, just stay in bed for a couple of days and take some aspirin and orange juice. This is very dangerous for these patients. So the percentage of residents in a nursing home getting their flu shots is a very important number. Patients who are in pain because the facility is supposed to be addressing that pain and doing what they can to reduce their pain. And residents who are losing weight. Looking at weight charts is very, very important because it may indicate a patient with an illness that's not being cared for. It may indicate poor feeding. In other words, that the facility is not providing enough food or enough quality food or, um, or other indicators that are not indicators of good quality care. So Medicare has taken all of this data or a lot of this data and put together a publicly available website called Nursing Home Compare. And you can see the URL for the website right there at the bottom of your screen. This contains key quality measure data on all of the more than 15,000 Medicare and Medicaid participating nursing homes and long-term care facilities. This is very important and provides everyday people, regular people, the ability to make better choices for themselves or for family members so they can have confidence that they're going to a facility that will actually care for the patient and not one of those horror stories you've heard from long ago, hopefully long ago. All right, here's an example of what you may see on the Nursing Home Compare website. This is a screenshot. After putting in a zip code, um, it will come up with those facilities that are closest to in order of rankings, okay? And you can see across the top, you have the basic information, you have an overall rating, you have health inspection, you have staffing, and staffing is very important. Not only do you want to make sure that the nurse-patient ratio is proper, because if one nurse has to care for too many patients, that is, of course, going to lower the quality of care. But also, you want to look at turnover with regard to the quality of care, because if the staff does not stay, that can be an indicator that something is very wrong with the management. And that is going to also directly re relate to the quality of care that the patients are getting. And then you have the responses to the quality of care measures specifically and the distance from the zip code or the address that you entered in the search bar. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask your instructor. We're all here to help you learn and learn accurately.